We are now on our way to Stutlagil Canyon, um, which is on the eastern part of Iceland. Uh, yesterday we spent most of the day just driving from um, Grindavik to here. Um, so we didn't do many activities on the way, we just kind of just drove um, until we got to our second hotel. Um, we just left it now, it's actually four, uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully we'll get to Stutlagil around 9. Stay tuned, hopefully it looks good. And anything Daniel? Put the directions on bro. Yeah, okay bro. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Okay, so we finally arrived to Stutlagil parking lot. So we are gonna explore a little bit, see where the really cool spots are to take some pictures um, and hang out here for a couple hours. I mean, this is a very new uh, attraction here in Iceland. I think it's been around, or they, they discovered it in 2009, Daniel says, so relatively new. Um, and so we'll show it to you here. There's a little stairway that leads you all the way down. This is the first time I'm seeing it, so... Okay. Let's get it. We're about to fly the drone and get some really awesome footage. So sometimes with Stutlagil, um, the water can be murky and a little grayish if you don't come at the right time of the season. But today, that's not the case. So, uh, Luke, to get to the viewpoint, you have to go down some stairs. And I showed you earlier, yeah. And uh, to get back up there, it's the Stairmaster from hell. You're gonna be winded. So, just, just be aware of that. We are out of shape. But <laughs> we're out of shape. We're gonna go uh, back down the road to get, uh, to start the hike. Yeah. It's about an hour and some change hike. And uh, to get a better, better viewpoint. Okay, we are starting the hike. It is 9.15. So, oh shit. Oh, sh <laughs> yeah. Take two. The hike from the parking lot took us about 40 to 45 minutes, and it was quite scenic and enjoyable. Believe it or not, the basalt columns that we see today were completely submerged underwater a little over 10 years ago. So, we just made it to Stutlagil. After all of that journey, what is it, like eight hours of driving? 10 hours. 10 hours of driving. No sleep, hashtag team no sleep. And we're finally here. Let's check out the view. So we are just exploring the canyon right now. We got blessed with such beautiful weather today. I could be in a tank top if I had one. Let me show you around. Sid the Gill. Here's Daniel. Oh. So after a long hike, we're gonna enjoy some Icelandic chocolate. So we made it. Uh, a lot of people started coming in, so we decided to bail. Yeah. Um, if you wanna come here, come here early. early. We had it to ourselves for about 30 minutes, maybe yeah. 40. So come here early and it's worth it. Totally worth it. Absolutely.
if you want to come here, do not park at this parking lot, it, especially if you're in the morning. It's going to save you around a 30 minute hike. Park at the second parking lot closer to Sudlico. Just saves you some time, a little effort, so you can spend more time at the canyon. So obviously, Iceland is known for its changing wet weather. And before when we were driving, it was sunny, beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. And now it's turned into straight pump fog. After hours and hours and hours of driving, we finally made it to our last place for the night. And we are staying at Hotel Kriat. I'm pretty sure we drove a good 10 hours today. Yeah. Probably more, maybe 11. Yeah, so it's, we woke up at 4.45, so it's been a long day. Um, and then here's <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Dead. This is the only time we've had a moment to just chill this whole entire weekend. Not complaining, but just wanted to document. <laughs>